Hello to all the viewers of Tech Geek SG. Today I'm going to unbox the i7 2600K uh, Intel Core i7 processor from which is of uh, LGA 1155, which is equals to Sandy Bridge. Yes, this one is a new architecture from Intel. So you need to get boards of the 1155. Uh, LGA 1155 so that means the H55 uh, H67 as well as the P67 uh, on the time of making this video uh, BioStar uh, Asus and Gigabyte uh, they already have their products their motherboards out for H67 as well as P67 ok as you can see this is the Core 7 which is already unlocked which means you can have a multiplier option to uh, 57 based on BIOS limitation, but I believe that once the new BIOS come, uh, comes out, they will be uh, they will allow you to up your multiplier all the way to perhaps uh, more than 57. So the current one I have now is the as I said 2600K. It has a four core eight way uh, multitask processing. That means it uh, supports hyper threading. Although there are only four cores, that means uh, there are also four cores eight threads. And the new revision of the turbo boost that allows you to uh, increase your ov automatically overclock your processor, which is uh, Intel technology. And since this is not one of the highest end uh, processor, there are still uh, HD integrated graphics on the die itself. And other than that, there's also integrated memory controller and supports two channel DDR3 memory. The good thing about the PC7 uh, chipset is that. It, uh, I believe it natively support 2133 megahertz RAMs, which is uh, amazing. Yeah, and there's a three-year limited warranty from Intel. Uh, I believe that all of you will be <laughs> will want me to unbox this right now. It's quite quite a new um, packaging compared to the uh, older one. The older Core i7s have a larger um, larger packaging. Okay, so here we are unboxing it. Sorry, the menu is stuck on top. Okay, we have here the user manual. I don't, I believe no one really reads it. And as well as the Core 7 case batch. It's a new case batch, as you can see. And over here, we have the processor itself. I'm not sure if you can focus. Oops. Okay, never mind. Then let me check out the headset. Since this is a 95 watts processor, uh, the they actually quite skim on the heatsick fan. You see that it's not really long compared to the Core 2 Duos. And there's already thermal paste installed. I mean, applied. Okay. And now I'm going to try to put this to my new system to test it out. Alright, so... This is a uh, 3.4 gigahertz, 8 megabyte of cache, as I've said. Okay, as I've said, 95 watts, and this is my badge. I can let you know about the overclocking details of the Sandy Bridge. Uh, once I get it down, I'll post it on YouTube. So thank you for watching this video. Please comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.